Hello people of internet, the time is 25 past 11 in the evening, the date is the 4th of December 2009 and I'm here to do a video blog. Now about a half an hour ago I got a message from a friend of mine, a text message if you will, a short messaging service message or something like that, from a friend who was rather disappointed, well rather angry with the fact that I wasn't in the city with him trying to get him laid. You see, the arrangement was was that two weeks ago I was supposed to be going out with him to the city and be his wingman. Now for the people out there who don't know what a wingman is, he basically it's a guy or a girl who goes out and helps the pilot, I suppose, um, to pick up women or men or whatever that person likes. Um, yeah, so the agreement was that I was going to go out with him, meet a whole bunch of people, help him interact with random strangers, hopefully get him laid, and then he'll just buy me lots of drinks, get me drunk, I'll be dancing the night away in some dodgy little bar like Paramount or Amplifier, and then eventually I'll stumble home at 4 o'clock in the morning thinking to myself, Jesus Christ, I'm never drinking this much again. And then I'll do it again the weekend after. He decided well, to go night night without, without telling, telling me. Now he now expects, expects me to be, be in the city, city with him right now, now partying it up. Now, now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, say no to no large, large amounts of free alcohol, free alcohol but, but the time, the time is what half past doesn't right now. now. <laughs> you really can't, can't bother bother giving out there. there. That brings me to a couple of things, actually just two things at the moment. Why is it so hard for people to go out there and meet new people? Meeting new people is not difficult. It's actually one of the easiest things to do out there. Being able to keep that person entertained for long periods of time, which will eventually turn into a relationship, marriage, kids, then divorce, that is difficult. That is very difficult. But meeting new people is really, really easy. But people out there just don't seem to believe that. I'm here on a YouTube thing to address two common complaints that I've heard from a couple of my friends about this whole meeting people thing. Complaint number one. I don't really want to go speak to that girl. She's she's all pretty and stuff. I mean, she smells nice and she's got that nice dress on her and she's wearing stilettos and, and, and yeah, she's just going to reject me. That is an absolute load of crap. Unless they've been raised by soulless freaks, most people were taught at a young age to be polite to others, polite, courteous, nice, whatnot. They might put up a front to suggest that they don't want to be spoken to. However, when push comes to shove and you actually get in their face and say, Hi, how are you doing? My name is Joe. What's your name? They're going to be polite and respond back. Now, how they respond is going to depend on how you approach them, which brings me to point number two. They don't like me. They don't like nice guys. They like womanizers and jerks and wankers and dickheads. They don't like nice guys. That's a load of crap too. It's got absolutely nothing to do with the fact that you are a nice guy. Women like nice guys. They don't like womanizers. They oh, there's a cat out there and it's eating another cat. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> he's still going. Mm. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that you're a nice guy. Honestly, nothing to do with that whatsoever. Women don't like womanizers. Women don't like dickheads. Women don't like wankers. And women don't like jerks. They do like nice guys. But the thing is, it has nothing to do with geek versus jock or, or smart guy versus dumb guy or rich guy versus poor guy. No. What it has to do is weak versus the strong. And I'm not talking about physical strength, no siree. Because if I was, then I would be a bad candidate. Because look at me, I'm, I weigh 60 something kilos, I'm weak as buggery. Well, buggery isn't actually weak, it's quite strong and painful. Um, it gives it nothing to do with strength, it has to do with strength of personality, it has to do with self-confident. If you are self-confident, you are able to go up to the person, impress them by saying, Hey, how are you doing? My name's Joe. I'm self-confident. That didn't sound confident at all, did it? It was a bit of a <clears throat> frog in my throat. Hi, my name's Joe. That's really not sounding confident at all, that sounds kind of gay. Really, what the hell, honestly. Women like self-confidence, and as long as you go up to them and show self-confidence, they are going to respond to you. You don't have to pull lines, you don't have to uh, do little 
parlour tricks like the whole peacocking thing, what pickup artists and all that do. No, you don't have to do that. It is just about self-confidence. Be yourself, but don't be the insecure little moron that you are. Be the, the confident person, the person that your family sees, the person that your best friend sees, the guy that everyone around you likes. Don't be the weak-ass bastard that you think you are, because honestly, you're not. In summary, meeting people, not so hard. Keeping them entertained, kind of difficult, but you'll get used to it. If, you, if you're not even confident in going out there and meeting people of the opposite sex, why not just go out there during the day without any strings attached? Just go out there and meet five people, five people a day. Just say hi, how you doing, nice weather, are you into that sports team, whatever, I don't know. Just speak to random people, show self-confidence, and eventually you'll have enough self-confidence to go to people that you kind of fancy. And you might be able to strike up a conversation. If you don't, big deal. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Who cares? These people are not going to see you afterwards. So why do you really care that you're going to get rejected? Honestly. Not too hard. And that's it for my video vlog. Thank you very much. Um... I suppose I should ask you people to comment stuff in my comments. So... Question, 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 question. What's your favourite colour? However, if you do want me to win you, by all means, give me a call, drop me an SMS, send me a DM on Twitter. I don't care, as long as you pay for all my drinks during the night, I'm good.